We want to catch criminals in the act. The criminals uh, may not realize that the uh, community is working in partnership with the police department. Adding eyes on the streets to catch more crooks on camera. This is CBS 4 News at 11. I'm Bob Donaldson. I'm Debbie Knox, and the Danville Police Department is now asking residents for access to their home security cameras. CBS 4's Haley Bull is live on the northwest side to show us how it works. Haley? Bob, police are asking families to register their systems, systems like this one, so when there's a crime, they can go back and check what's caught on camera and maybe catch a criminal in the act. They're hard to spot, but across homes in Danville, it's kind of nice to see what's going on. Some residents have another set of eyes, a security camera. As we've added more, we've had you know a couple things caught on camera that have been useful. Chris Bennett installed a system at his home. It's systems like those police are hoping might help them. Now the citizens are going to be working with the police department. Danville police are launching a community camera program to help catch criminals. It's essentially a database of what homes have, what cameras. We want to catch these individuals. We want them to be on camera. Um, it's so much it's so much easier to prosecute somebody when you have them on camera committing a crime um, it's hard to deny that families can register their security systems online then that database will be in our investigations um, office and we'll be able to pull up anything in the vicinity and make contact with those individuals only if we believe that their cameras may have caught something officer Nate lean says in the past cameras have proven vital to cases this image police say helped ID a suspect Cody James Johnson after a vehicle was stolen from a neighborhood earlier this month. There's a warrant out for his arrest right now. Essentially, with, with the community partnership uh, with our police department now, it's going to make a criminal think twice. But it's not going to take thinking twice for some residents to sign up. Well, that's a good idea. I, I definitely think having the police know where the cameras are out in the neighborhood's handy. Police say they will not be able to access the cameras remotely. Signing up and turning over video is solely up to the residents. We have a link up online to that registration at CBS 4 Indy. Live on the Northwest side, Haley Bull, CBS 4 News. Haley, thank you. We have breaking news out of Florida tonight. A massive police presence tonight at the very busy Orlando International Airport. Now, police say an armed man was in a rental car area. That man is now in custody, and police say no shots were actually fired and no one was hurt in this standoff. A portion of the airport, though, was temporarily locked down, and people inside were moved to safety. When we started approaching, you know, there was a, just a few police, and uh, uh, before we knew it, there was a lot more and more police, uh, Homeland Security, SWAT team, and like I just said to you a minute ago, there was about six medivacs that just rushed away. Now, nearly 43 million passengers pass through Orlando International every year. New tonight, will a Hoosier become the next FBI director? It's a definite possibility after Anderson University President John Pistol interviewed today with President Donald Trump. Pistol has a long resume and a lot of support at the university he runs in his hometown. News that John Pistol could become the next FBI director spread quickly at Anderson University. The school's president has personally met most of the students at this small school. They know his background, and they're not surprised he's being considered. He's a great guy. I've met him, and I've had lunch with him, and, you know, congrats. That would be a great job, but we would miss him here. We really need him here. We really want him here, but um, our country would benefit from him being um, the director of the FBI. Pistol was born in Anderson and graduated from Anderson University himself. He took over as president two years ago after spending decades with the FBI. He is close with both Vice President Mike Pence and the director of national intelligence, former Indiana Senator Dan Coats. Pistol served as the FBI's deputy director under two presidents before President Obama appointed him head of the TSA. It says a great deal about him that he would be named as someone that they'd want to interview and look at. And with his background, he would be a great FBI director. But it's unclear tonight whether Pistol really wants the FBI job. In an exclusive interview with CBS4 when he arrived in Anderson, he welcomed his move out of Washington. I've been through so many iterations of the next biggest threat or what's the current threat. Um, so I, I know the, the battle rhythms, if you will, what's taking place and all that. But I've uh, been called to, to a new line of work, if you will. 
So let's talk about John Pistol a little bit more. Here's a look at his deep connections in both Anderson and in Washington, D.C. He graduated from Anderson University in 1978. Then, five years later, he joined the FBI. Pistol was appointed the head of the FBI's counterterrorism uh, efforts after the September 11th attacks. He served as deputy director of the FBI under both President Bush and President Obama. Then, in 2010, President Obama appointed Pistol as the head of the TSA. He retired from that position in 2014 and returned home to Anderson, where he was inaugurated as the fifth president of Anderson University in October of 2015. Well, there is a big shakeup tonight in the White House Communications Department. Communications Director Michael Dubke confirms that he has resigned for, quote, personal reasons. But the president is said to be reevaluating his communications team amid continuing news coverage of his campaign and transition team's communications with Russia. He tweeted today, Russian officials must be laughing at the U.S. and how a lame excuse for why the Dems lost the election has taken over fake news. Well, meanwhile, CBS News has confirmed that when White House senior advisor and the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, met with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak in December, the two did discuss setting up a back channel of communications. And a strong message for North Korea tonight. The Pentagon says a missile successfully shot down a fake warhead over the Pacific. The Pentagon applauds the test as a way to defend the U.S. from North Korea or anyone else. Well, it's happened again. Another pedestrian has been hit along an Indianapolis street. The latest happened today on, 80, on 82nd, 86th Street, just west of Traders Point. One person was hurt. Their injuries and what led to the crash have not been released. This was the fourth pedestrian accident in Indianapolis this month. The other three were deadly. CBS4 did some digging and found the number of pedestrians killed in Indianapolis has almost tripled since last year. Between January 1st and May 15th in 2016, four pedestrians were killed in crashes. This year, during that same time, 11 have died. Speeding, inattentive drivers, and pedestrians are factors in these crashes, but the city is looking to address lighting and sidewalks to cut down on the number of crashes. There's a lot of incidents where pedestrians and vehicles are really next side by side, whether that's them crossing the street or waiting at a stoplight. So we want to look at those areas and provide some uh, improvements. DPW has planned hundreds of thousands of dollars in pedestrian improvements all across the city. Mayor Joe Hogsett's team is also working with IPL to install thousands of streetlights. Well, an art teacher at Anderson High School pleads not guilty to a hit-and-run crash. Court documents show that Rebecca Venata admitted to hitting an SUV last week and leaving the scene, claiming her daughter was in the hospital. Venata is also facing a failure-to-appear charge tied to a prescription drug case. CBS4 reached out to Anderson schools and learned no decision has been made about Venata's employment. A Muncie mom now faces charges in a deadly crash that killed her young daughter. Jessica Skeens is now charged with neglect, OWI, and possession of marijuana. Her boyfriend, Nathaniel Jordan, is charged with domestic battery. Police say the couple was actually fighting in their van when they crashed. Six-year-old Taylin Woodson was thrown from the van and died. The girl and another child were not properly restrained in the back seat. Two different viewers called the CBS4 problem solvers when both were approached with an online deal that was too good to be true. In both cases, the scammer used the same reputable company to try and fool them. CBS4's Joe Glavin looks into this scam and how you can protect yourself. These are the two invoices. Both have the eBay logo on them and both claim to be using the company's buyer protection program for a safer sale. Michael McGay belongs to one of the invoices. It looked legit. Once he started to read the fine print, though, he figured something was wrong. I went to Addison. I was like, I'm afraid to tell you this. I think this is a scam. It went wrong. He recently bought his 13-year-old daughter Addison a horse that she'll start showing at 4-H. It was a gift after Addison's grandma passed away on her birthday. McGay had been looking around online to find a used horse trailer. He found this one on Craigslist. I told her we was very interested to see it and I wanted to purchase it. The seller gave him her own sad story. I'm a special needs nurse, she said, and I'm selling it because my mother's health hasn't been so good. Plus, she had a specific way she wanted to sell it. I want to go through eBay because the last time someone went, I met someone, they never showed up. I don't want to be stood up again. 
McGay got this invoice and soon a phone call. You ready to complete the purchase? I'm like, no. <laughs> so then I started to read the in invoice and said you must, they you took only eBay gift cards. And that's when the red flag went up. The same goes for another viewer who told me she tried to buy this Honda Accord on the website OfferUp. The seller also told a heart-wrenching story, saying, I'm selling this car because my child of only 25 years died two months ago in a bike accident. But that seller, also claiming to be using eBay for protection, wanted a money grant. It is something we've seen before. Betsy Eisenberg, chief counsel for the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division, says a company like eBay will never make you pay in gift cards or money grants. More and more now today with scams that we're seeing, a lot of them are utilizing things like the eBay um, protection program, where it looks like it's an actual document from eBay or from some other uh, reputable company, but it really isn't. eBay buyer protection is a real thing, but it's only used for transactions made directly on eBay. In fact, the company has an alert for internet vehicle scams right on its main purchase protection page. And I confirmed directly with an eBay representative that both of these invoices are bogus. McGay called the people he talked to back while we were with him. Thank you for calling eBay customer service. This is Emma. How can I help you? We got to hear for ourselves how this scam sounds. So in order to complete this transaction, you have to purchase uh, four eBay gift cards in the $500 each from uh, any Walgreens, Best Buy, Dollar General, or any other retail store in your area. Luckily, neither of our viewers fell for it. And with our confirmation, they know for sure this is not how a real deal goes down. As for McGay's daughter, Addison, she's hoping they'll find a real trailer soon. So we can, like, take him to 4-H when he comes back. There you go. We can, like, take him to see my family. If you suspect a scam, be sure to file a complaint with the Indiana Attorney General's office and flag that post online. You can also send it to eBay at the email spoof at ebay.com. For CBS4 Problem Solvers, I'm Jill Glavin. Jill, thank you. McGay says not long after trying to buy that horse trailer, another scammer tried to use a fake Amazon protection program. Experts always say if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Well, a Muncie father is behind bars tonight after admitting that he sold heroin 10 times a day to support his family. Douglas Garrett Jr. has a felony record. Community activist Marwin Strong says convicted felons turn to selling drugs because employers won't hire them. Strong is working to change that and hopes that other father, fathers like Garrett won't have to continue committing crimes. They're scared of, to find them a job and make honest money because look at it. This tax-free money is free out here, but it's illegal. You know, you do the crime, you do the time. And we have a full list of resources for parents in Delaware County at CBS4Indy.com. A warning tonight from police. Thieves are targeting parking lots, providing them with a fast getaway. You can get on the interstate after you commit a crime, and you can be from Greenwood to downtown Indianapolis in 10 minutes. Several car break-ins have taken place at Greenwood businesses along Main Street and Southport Road. All are close to a ramp onto I-65. Two customers at Oak and Barrel Brewing Company were hit over the weekend during a rainstorm. Police want to remind everyone to never leave electronics or other valuables in your car, even if you think you're hiding them. A UPS truck takes a direct hit from a spaghetti bomb. This happened along I-70 in Wayne County. The Sheriff's Department says a bag of spaghetti was dropped from the Indiana 227 overpass. The bag crashed right through the windshield of a UPS truck. The driver was not hurt. But as you can see, the noodles, the sauce, broken glass caused a big mess. The sheriff says whoever did it faces serious charges. Well, new at 11 o'clock, an Indiana boy who has been fighting a debilitating disease his entire life will become one of the first to receive a life-saving drug. CBS 4's Today Howard talked with the family about the FDA's recent approval and how it's giving them their first sign of hope. Most people call him Speedy, and at nine years old, Alexander Davis isn't letting his spinal muscular atrophy diagnosis slow him down. We never stop. We were told that he would probably never walk, and that there was no treatments and no cure. It's heartbreaking. Um, it was, it was, and it, it's, it's still really hard today. Alexander was diagnosed with SMA when he was one years old. The rare genetic disease causes weakness and loss of motor skills. It progresses over time. Trials showed Spinraza stopped the advancement of the disease and even improved movement in some patients. I feel very scared and excited at the same time. 
I'm very nervous that it's not going to work. But mom and dad believe this drug will change their lives. Do not. I'm really hopeful that, you know, by the end of the summer that maybe he'll have a little more strength and the ability to um, have a little more endurance than what he does. Anywhere from being able to hold his head up better to, you know, being able to swallow, being able to cough when he's, you know, sick. Sorry, this is too slow. And even though he enjoys riding his baby Please. sister around in his chair, Please. Alexander is looking forward to one thing. I would love to snap my Lego pieces and get her all by myself. An optimistic outlook the Davis family wants to share with other families dealing with SMA. That there's hope that even when it seems like the worst thing in the world, these kids are amazing kids. In Tipton, Tanae Howard, CBS4 News. Now, SMA is the most common genetic cause of death in infants, and this is the first approved treatment for this debilitating disease. Well, it's an honor more than 70 years in the making. For our veterans tonight, a World War II veteran finally receives the medals he earned for fighting for our freedom. Senator Todd Young presented 93-year-old Paul Wagner with five medals. They include the Bronze Star and a Prisoner of War medal. Wagner didn't receive those decorations until now because he lived as a monk in a monastery for more than 20 years after his service. So many years have gone by and uh, I just, I really wasn't interested. At that moment when I was going to die, I was 20 years old. I said I never did anything real bad. I, I was a college boy, freshman year, but I never did anything good. Wagner eventually met his wife, Beverly, and had a family. His grandson, who now serves in the military, helped track down those decorations. In honor of National Military Appreciation Month, CBS4 salutes Major Warren Swinford. Major Swinford served in the Army for two years during the Vietnam War. He then served in the Indiana National Guard for 20 years. We also salute Bobby Pedri, who's still actively serving with the National Guard. We want to thank them both for their service. Well, more people could soon kayak, canoe, and paddleboard on Geist Reservoir. City leaders and fishers are working out a multi-million dollar deal now to build the waterway's first public park and beach. The 70-acre site would be built on land where a concrete company now sits. The city is prepared to pay more than $9 million for that property, part of an investment that officials believe can revitalize the water. This will be an amenity for people in Lawrence, uh, people in McCordsville, Fortville, Indianapolis. I think this will be a destination park for sure because you get that uh, unique access to the lake. It just allows the rest of Fishers to enjoy the amenity that is Geist. Now if this deal goes through, it would take several months to make final design plans. We're just 66 days away from the Indiana State Fair and organizers still need a few good workers. A job fair was held today at the fairgrounds. Hundreds of positions need to be filled like parking attendants, security guards, education team and maintenance. If you missed today's job fair, you can still pick up an application at the State Fairgrounds Employment Office. But I was bad to the bone. Oh, moving on over, George Thorogood and the Destroyers are coming to the Indiana State Fair this year. The classic rock group is one of five free concert acts announced today. The others include legendary singer Patti LaBelle, the Yacht Rock Revival Tour, Blue October, and Kiefer Sutherland, yep, the actor. The other 12 concert acts will be announced at a later date. Well, if you buy a ticket, you get in there to hear that for free. That's yes, a good deal. Yes, it wonderful, is. wonderful. Mm -hmm. We've got some nice weather going on here. Let's see how long it's going to last, Chris. For the next couple of days, we'll have nice weather across central Indiana. Mild temperatures, a comfortable breeze coming in from the northeast. But right now, a couple of scattered showers going on on live Guardian radar. Just some light rainfall falling from Frankfurt back into Crawfordsville, down into Park County, around the Rockville area. More scattered showers and thunderstorms across central Illinois will rotate across Indiana overnight. So, don't be surprised if you hear a rumble or two of thunder overnight, but we're not expecting anything severe overnight. We saw the high temperature in the middle 70s this afternoon. Right now we've got a temperature at 62 degrees with a south wind at 9 miles per hour. We have had winds gusting up as high as 31 miles per hour earlier today. Well, May has been a soggy month for us. Happy to close the door on this one. We had measurable rainfall on 18 of 30 days this month. It's the eighth wettest May on record. And so far this March, April, May period, the fifth wettest spring 
raining on record here in central Indiana. We've got more rainfall coming over the next several days. I think we'll see a few sprinkles overnight, then dry for a while before a daily chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms kicks in on Friday, Saturday, right on through the early part of Sunday. And we're talking another inch to an inch and a half of rainfall for the next system that'll be moving in. During the day tomorrow, a northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. High temperatures in the middle 70s, and we'll have lots of sunshine during the day. Clear skies again for us tomorrow night, and we head into Thursday. Moisture starts building in the atmosphere coming up on Thursday, so a few clouds coming in on Thursday afternoon. And from those clouds, we'll see a chance of showers and storms coming up Thursday night, right up through the day on Friday as this system to our north stalls and slog sags down upon us. It'll give us also a chance of showers and storms through the day on Saturday, right up through Sunday morning, back behind the cold front, drier air will work its way in on Sunday afternoon. Overnight, down to a low temperature at 55 degrees, a few showers around and a chance for a thunderstorm. And then tomorrow, breezy and mild, lots of sunshine with a high at 75. And the seven-day forecast, the high temperature stays in the middle 70s with sunshine on Thursday. Then some strong storms may cause your weather radios to sound late Friday. Friday's high at 83. We'll also keep scattered thunderstorms in the forecast Saturday, right on through Sunday morning. Dry by Sunday afternoon with a high at 77. It's time now for Spoiler Alert UK. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Bob. You're going to say something. No, I was going to say, let's, let's talk about sports. We're still okay. talking about the 500. That's right, we are. Mm -hmm. Scott Dixon, I think, is in the news here. Finally getting some answers today as to exactly what's going on with that lower leg injury from Sunday's rack. After seeing the doctor, what is the prognosis, especially with two races scheduled for this coming weekend? All of the answer in sports next. Tonight on The Late Show, big questions with Stephen and Brad Pitt. Do you think beauty is really only skin deep? I don't know. I've never taken my skin off. Tonight. See why more people are turning to CBS4, the fastest growing morning newscast. We have a lot to tackle while you're sleeping. This area is blocked. I-69. I do want to give you a live look a little closer to the scene. The CBS4 problem solving story could mean significant change to the 911 system you depend on. It's a video really everyone's talking about. You can find out how this impacts you. And Get up to the minute. The minute you're up with Frank, Angela, Lindsay, and Rachel. Weekdays on CBS 4 This Morning. Announcing your local Ford store's Memorial Day All-Star event. We're offering big savings on our entire lineup. Now you can get up to $2,000 trade assist cash on top of any other offer. Plus make no payments for 90 days on most Ford vehicles. That's right. Save big on a fantastic lineup of Ford All-Stars with up to $2,000 trade assist cash. Plus make no payments for 90 days on most Ford vehicles. But don't wait. Hurry to your local Ford store's Memorial Day All-Star event. Who provides the best entertainment and internet experience? Best in-home Wi-Fi experience? Let's you stream on five devices at once? Brings you Netflix on X1 and 75 megabits per second in the most popular packages? No question. Xfinity stacks up where AT&T doesn't. Get all these great reliable features and fast internet for an incredible price. Get up to 75 megabits per second download speed. Compare that to AT&T and get X1 and voice for $30 each for one year when you bundle all three. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. To err is human. To anticipate is the Lexus RX. With pedestrian detection, auto braking, and lane departure alert, standard. Experience another step closer to a safer world. Lexus Plus is the dealership experience redefined, and you'll find that experience at Tom Wood Lexus. We traveled to Liberty, Texas, where one woman provides therapeutic riding at no cost to children with special needs. She does a lot for our kids and for her to do it for free for children with disabilities. That is amazing. We are here to celebrate and honor you. Thank you. Treat the hero in your life to a fresh frozen custard, Culver's Concrete Mixer. I wanted to make a difference in the community. To Donna, our hero. Come to Culver's to celebrate your hero. It's May, and it's time to race into Andy Moore to find your new vehicle. With more than 500 vehicles in stock on our giant lot, you'll find your new car, truck, or SUV at Andy Moore. Choose a new Chevy Malibu, a new Chevy Equinox, or a new Chevy Silverado. Your choice, only $99 a month. Or get 0% for 72 months on remaining 2016 models. These deals are going fast, so race in today for your new Chevy. You'll find your new Chevy in stock on our lot at Andy Moore Chevrolet. 
Indy Sports Central, presented by Ortho Indy. Only one driver leaves Indianapolis Motor Speedway completely satisfied after the month of May. For this year and the 101st running of the Indy 500, it's Takuma Sato. His reign as champion travels first to New York City. Taku rang the opening bell at the NASDAQ stock market this morning. Many more stops on the day, so many more remaining in the future. Get that man some coffee. He's going to be at it for a while. The honor was so nearly that of Elio Castroneves. The three-time Indy 500 champion finished in second place after Sato passed him with just a few laps to go. You can bet the 17-time Indy 500 starter will be back and determined to win number four in 2018. I will get this number four. Trust me, I will do everything I can. I feel Roger's going to feel in the same way. Um, we have so many good opportunities. And so, fans, let's keep cheering. Let's keep hoping. And I can only obviously continue working extremely hard to make sure that number four, we all deliver it. After six races, Elio is on top of the IndyCar point standings. Hard to believe he's never won a title, though he's finished top five in 12 of his 15 full seasons. A three-way tie for a second right behind Elio with Sato, Simon Pagino, and Scott Dixon there. Speaking of Scott, from wife Emma's Instagram, we learned he does have a fracture from that wreck on Sunday. There's a text there. And still keeping a little sense of humor, that is not Scott Dixon's face plastered over there on the right side of the screen. Uh, that picture was edited. Even with the somewhat disappointing news, Dixon is still clear to drive this weekend, says Chip Ganassi Racing. We put so much effort in. It's not just me. You know, it's, it's you know, the hundred people at Ganassi that, you know, facilitate these cars, work on these cars. It is part of what we do. You know, we, we know the consequences. Um, we know why it is so tough to win at the Annapolis 500, and, and anything can, can get in your way. But, uh, you know, thankful that everybody's okay. We can come back next year and, and have another crack at it. And, you know, super excited to, to get back in the car this weekend, and, and uh, hopefully we can get hopefully we can get a W on on the board here. Hoops now the fever hope to climb back to 500 today on the road in Dallas. They beat the Wings twice in three games last season, their first season in Dallas. Indiana trailed by 20 plus points tonight, but coming back in the third quarter, Candace Dupree hits the short jumper there and forces a Wings timeout, but ultimately tonight the uh, fever had no answer for Kareem at Christmas. Cali went 10 of 14 from the floor, 27 points a game high. The Wings win 89-62. Pacers wing C.J. Miles will decline his option for next season and become a free agent, so reports ESPN today. Miles averaged nearly 11 points a game for the Blue and Gold last year and led the squad in three-point average. A shooter in today's league will certainly do better on the opening market than the uh, nearly $5 million he was due. So hoping to get a longer deal than just one season. Still possible he comes back to the Pacers, sure. but that's yeah. something that will happen over the next weeks or months. Thanks, right. Dave. You Thanks. got it. Back with more after this. More people than ever are making the move to Nissan. Save on Rogue, America's best-selling SUV. Only at Nissan's Make the Move event. Hurry, event ends soon. Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue. My current financial situation, it's, it's okay. Um, it could be better. <laughs> One of my goals is to learn to save enough to go back to school and get my PhD. Going to Regions Bank is very important for me because I get to sit down face to face with people and they will educate me about my financial situation. I think Regions does a great job of guiding you to where you need to be. I'm ready to take my next step. Ready to move your life forward? Visit regions.com slash next step. Are you or a loved one having difficulty hearing? Do you constantly find yourself asking others to repeat themselves? These can be warning signs of hearing loss. Don't miss out on conversations with loved ones anymore. For more than 76 years, Beltone has offered hearing care solutions. Our goal is to bring you natural hearing with comfort and ease. Call the number on your screen or visit Beltone.com to find a Beltone near you and schedule a free screening today. Announcing your local Ford store's Memorial Day All-Star event. We're offering big savings on our entire lineup. Now you can get up to $2,000 trade assist cash on top of any other offer. Plus, make no payments for 90 days on most Ford vehicles. That's right. Save big on a fantastic lineup of Ford All-Stars with up to $2,000 trade assist cash. Plus, make no payments for 90 days on most Ford vehicles. But don't wait. Hurry to your local Ford store's Memorial Day All-Star event. Paint? No, this isn't just paint. This is the most advanced one-coat coverage. Made with molecules that bond stronger, bond tighter, 
and bond tougher in one coat for beauty that starts and stays that way. Because this isn't just paint. This is Paramount. New and exclusively at Menards. When given a chance, we do it right here in Indiana. But the deck's been stacked against us, taking our jobs overseas. That's why Joe Donnelly's rewriting the rules. His legislation gives businesses a tax credit for bringing jobs home and eliminates tax breaks for shipping our jobs overseas. And Donnelly wants federal contracts to go to companies that hire American workers. Joe Donnelly, he's fighting for us. More people than ever are making the move to Nissan. Save on Rogue, America's best-selling SUV. Only at Nissan's Make the Move event. Get up to $1,500 Memorial Day bonus cash on top of existing offers. An Indianapolis native and former contestant on Survivor visited Creston Middle School today. Season 33 competitor Jessica Figueroa helped the students taking part in the field day of Survivor as they completed their challenges. Figueroa also talked to the kids about her experience on the island and what she learned about overcoming fears and obstacles. She also talked to the kids about overcoming bullying. Well, some high school seniors in Arizona made a big mess while celebrating the end of their high school careers. It's a long tradition at this school where the seniors gather up all their papers and throw them down a stairwell. Students then ride down the waterfall of papers. Cleanup, by the way, is not left up to the janitors. It's part of that tradition. Underclassmen are charged <laughs> with picking up the mess. Yeah, stick it to the office. office. Oh, the papers are still full. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. That's a lot of homework. They're saving papers from, what, first grade? Yeah, wow. yeah right. Since first grade, right. Yeah, oh there they go. Mm -hmm. That's wow. so cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, final look at the weather. Temperatures in the middle 70s with sunshine for the next two days across the area. Then a daily chance of showers and storms coming up on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Thank you, Chris. Join Frank, Angela, Lindsay, and Rachel for CBS 4 this morning. That starts at 5 a.m. And that's it for CBS 4 News at 11. Late Show with Stephen Colbert is next. Have a great night.